Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Grant. In this video, we're going to look at server uh, Alti Snips Snippet Editor. At the moment, when you install it uh, as a plugin in Vim, it defaults to saving the snippets that you create into the local directory where you've got your project. Let me let me show you what I mean. So we've got two projects here, we've got project 1 and project 2. So we're in project 1, now let's go into project 2, oops, um, my project, here we are, right, okay, so if we do, down at the bottom, we issue the command, command, ulti, snips, edit, see this goes into project 2, ulti, snips, if we quit that, if we quit that, and then have a look, we've got multi snips directory here, and the same here. If we do multi snips edit down here, we're in project one multi snips and the CPP snippets file again. If we do this and ulti snips edit as we did get and quit and if we quit that and then shall, we've got an ulti snips here as well so we've got ulti snips Let's quit that quit that now we've got an ulti snips here now that's okay and it works but what if you're working on multiple projects and you want your snippets to be available in each project without having to rewrite them all the time. Well, go into your dot vim and what we're going to do is we're going to edit our vimrc file. So we'll do our vimrc file. Okay, so I think it's on. Yeah, there we go. And we'll go here. And what we want, let's just, is this line here. I've got commented out at the moment. So let's release the comment. And what we do is we type out, I've got it all, as you can see, in a multi snips configuration. So what we do is we type let, L E T, all lowercase, space, lowercase g for global, colon, and then in camel case, each separate word is capitalized on the initial letter lowercase for the rest no spaces it's ulti snips snippet directories it's important to put the is after it we're doing plural not singular so we're doing ulti snips snippet directories is equal and then we have an open square bracket as you can see an open and close square bracket an open and close single quote and in here we do tilde for the home directory slash the dot vim directory slash the ulti, and the ulti snips directory which we've got created in here let me just show you See, we've got an ulti snips directory here that at the moment is empty. Ulti snips and then close it with a slash and a single quote, comma. So then we've got a comma, space, open and close single quotes. And then the word ulti snips in camel case again. Close the quote and then close the uh, square brackets. So that's our ulti snips. Whilst we're here, why don't we just map? Because it gets a pain in the neck typing ulti snips edit all the time, and the idea is to shorten what we do. So we're going to map. In, our, in my case, I've got it on F7. You can put it on whatever you want, but I've got F7. 
colon ulti snips edit and then the control control key so that's that just as a, a quick aside if you want to type out the map if you don't know how to do it type map then look at your, key, your function keys and choose one that you like so you know okay and press that so you've got f8 give it a space a colon then the command that you want whatever it happens to be and then open and close your angle brackets and then type CR and that gives you a control so but you can put all, all sorts of key combinations into the map but this is the way let's get rid of that line so it doesn't interfere so we've done that so we'll write that I always like to write and then write write quit so let's come back over to here and we'll open our project again here's a project so we mapped it if you remember so we'll press F7 and as you can see we're now in our global directory here we are tilde for home directory dot vim ulti snips cpp snippets if we go back here and we do tree ulti snips still empty because we haven't written it yet let's create a snippet so we'll create a snippet multi-line comment we'll call it M mlc multi-line comment and then we'll pop in our multi-line comment this is where we want to end up and then end snippet and we'll write and quit write and write and quit right let's just see if it works so we're going to insert mode and we'll do mlc and expand insert there we go so now we know it works on project one will it work on project two have a look so let's drop down a line go into insert mode mlc and it works now what happens if we're in here and we want to do another snippet so we'll come out of insert mode we'll press f7 again here we are in our snippets file let's create another snippet let's create a single line comment that's where we want to end up end snippet right right quick it's just you don't have to do that it's just something that I do so let's come down a couple of things so we want a single line comment and there we've got a single line comment let's see if it works in project one in another project so it's single single line comment if you make a mistake it won't work single line comment and we've got a single line comment now if we go back to here and do our tree ulti snips again we've got a file called cpp.snippets shall we go and have a look at that cat cpp snip oh look there's our snippets absolutely fantastic okay thank you very much and i'll see you next time <laughs>